Hello, I'm Sarah Francis Monks. Let me tell you my story. I was born in 1853 in Stonetown, New Jersey, which was a part of Ringwood. My grandfather, William Monks, born in 1777, was the first to settle there and bought his farm from his father-in-law, John Allen. My father, George W. Monks, inherited the farm, and all his children were born there. I married David Miller in 1870 at the age of 17, and we lived on his inherited family farm. We gave birth to one child, Samuel August Miller, who in turn gave us five grandchildren, one of which was Beulah Miller Winkler. Life on our farm was all about working together. Why, Dave didn't think he could make his garden without my help. If his fences needed mending, I was right on the job, holding up rails while he hammered the nails into place. Dave, in his turn, helped with the housework. Every spring house cleaning time found him whitewashing the walls. Every churning day, Dave vigorously worked the dasher of the old blue churn. We never had a need to go places other than the store and church. Perhaps once a year Dave and I drove down to Patterson to do a little shopping. We had plenty of visitors. One day Governor, Griggs, of Patterson with a party of his friends came riding up a horseback. I had just taken a rice pudding out of the oven when he came to the door and asked if he and his party could have dinner at our house. I told him I had plenty of fresh eggs and smoked ham and potatoes if that would satisfy him. Well, you should have seen that party eat. Then I used to have a lawyer from Patterson come up to the old house weekends, and he always wanted a bread and milk supper. I'd milk one of the cows early, and set the milk in a covered pail under the spout at the spring to cool, and how that man did enjoy his suppers of fresh homemade bread and milk. We never saw the need to see the world, for the world came to us, and to the beauty of our mountains and streams. I lived until the age of 73, Dave having outlived me by four years. Here is some more of my family history. My great-grandfather Monks was a native of England. He founded the family on American soil, and noting the growing oppression of the British government in their treatment of the colonies, he became imbued with the idea that America should be a free and independent nation, and when the War of the Revolution was inaugurated, he valiantly aided in the struggle for liberty. This revolutionary patriot had three sons, John Monks, who located in the state of New York, James Monks who took up his residence at Monksville, New Jersey, and William Monks, my grandfather, who became a resident of Passaic County. My grandfather William Monks' father-in-law, John Allen, who was my great-grandfather, began the first sawmill in Stonetown in 1775 and was the proud owner of the first clabbered house built in Burnt Meadows. John Allen owned a three-mile tract of land stretching from Westbrook to Monksville, and sold a parcel of that land to my grandfather which became his family farm and homestead. In 